Apple Thursday. Mm, just one of my favorite parts of fall, smelling. <laughs> Cinnamon and apples again. and amazing things. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Great Day here on KCWY. You may have heard there's only a couple days left of summer, unfortunately, but we're moving into a great time of the year. But there's been a shift in food as well, whether on a menu or in the market. You're seeing a little bit of change in what you can find. So we have our resident health nut, Sherry Clark, joining us here today. You're uh, a health expert. In health the expert. Oh, health. oh, expert. I am That's what I meant to say. Uh, <laughs> but enjoying what we do have around us right now, and that is a ton of apples. It so is. what do we do with all these great apples? And there's different ones you can use, as you've showed us with uh, different vegetables and fruits and things like that. Tell us what we have in front of us today. It's apple season, Jackie. I'm so excited. And first, I want to tell you, when you're buying apples, there's a couple things to know. Because, you know, you get you we, we buy them. They're inexpensive now. You bring them home, and then they might go bad. Mm. Have you ever bitten into an apple and it's mealy? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a way to avoid that. What? Store it properly. Okay, tell so me. Store it below... 35 degrees or above 35 degrees, not quite to freezing, but they have to be kept pretty cold. Don't, to you, stay. Know don't you throw them in the fridge? I, mean, I store mine in the fridge. I keep them in the in the crisper, crisper drawer. drawer. Ah, the crisper drawer. If you buy an abundance of them right. and you have a cool area like a basement or a garage, you can put them there, but you need to keep rotating them because they oh. need to breathe. So, and the other thing is, I want to tell you. What do you mean they need to breathe? What are Maybe we talking about? Maybe that's my here? issue because I always go get a big. <laughs> Come on now. They I get a big. What are you talking about? They basket of them, air. and maybe that's the, the ones on the bottom are like. Hey. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the, because they haven't gotten any air, there's no been air has been not been circulating. You people are in rare form today, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I know. There's a storm in the morning today. <laughs> You're not going to make it easy for me. Okie dokie. So the apples need to breathe. They do need to breathe. Down. Good to know. And and the other thing is, I prefer to buy organic because. Apples are really, really sprayed. They yeah, have a lot of natural is. pest, um, you know, kind of enemies. So that because they're such a sprayed product, I really try to buy organic. So organic apples means not sprayed. Yes, that's correct. No it, it means that they're using non-chemical fertilizers, right. and we're not using pest control that u that uses unnatural things. Are they still? Because uh, you know, I don't know about this, but I know the term organic. Uh, there's some uh, scuttlebutt as to what you can use it on, and it changes uh, product to product. Yeah. Well, there's it, the thing is that it's there's a certification process for organicness, okay. and so you have to qualify for that. So, hmm. which is actually would be a really interesting topic for us to discuss another time. Hmm. You can tell if you, if you go into the store. And there's a whole abundance of apples and you're trying to decide which ones to buy right. the little sticker on each one if you want to know which ones are organic and you're not really sure the signs a little confusing look at the little sticker that's on every piece of produce in the store not at the mm. orchard and if it starts with a nine and has five digits it's organic okay so nine that's one way to go digits. okay let's talk about what you're know. eating yeah, I was gonna say let's talk about the amazing apple products you brought in front of us okay start with the beverage Start with your beverage. Nice. Because we called? love smoothies around here. Oh God, I and love this glass. There's little ridges so I don't drop it. I love Isn't that, that perfect? Yes. Yeah, I get that. I got that, especially for It's like him. drinking an apple. <laughs> it's like drinking an apple. <laughs> and here's the thing. I wanted to use some un, not unusual ingredients today. Once in a while, I'll bring something a little bit trippy. You know, I'll bring a nutritional yeast. Or, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. It's natural, normal banana. Orange, mm -hmm. apple. Oh wow! That's it. That's it. In blender. In Go the, in the blender. Now, with, before Yummy. with uh, melons and things, you've thrown in the whole darn thing. Are we doing that with an apple yes, as well? Yes, we are because it's organic. If I were using a conventionally grown or non-organic apple, I would peel it first because then at least I would get the insecticide gotcha. and chemicals off the outside of the skin. But remember, that doesn't protect you from everything. The tree drinks the soil, which has oh the my. yeah, which goes I know. into the meat of the fruit. This it does. is awesome. It is Isn't tasty. That, Tasty really good. and it's and it's naturally sweet, so I didn't have awesome. to sweeten it. Mm. And um, if you want to add a little bit of extra nutrition, you know I'm always big about right. adding greens right. in there, but I didn't want it to look green. Because you could put like a kale or something in there, and kale, you would probably wouldn't even taste it. I would put a little bit of kale in there. I would probably use a sweeter or more um, a little bit less strong flavor, like romaine. I would use oh, okay. kale or not kale, romaine, spinach. I might mm -hmm. use chard. You well, said apple, would be good banana. And orange. Or, an orange. Orange juice. It's delicious. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. It's a uh, specific kind of apple that you use for this? No. I used it. I used uh, I pulled it in my crisper drawer and pulled what came out. Okay. It's, so it, it, <laughs> you don't have to worry about a specific type. Just no, eat your No. But apple. if it's not sweet enough and you wanted to sweeten it, you could throw a date in there. Because certain apples, oh. you know, like Granny Smith's, those right. green apples, they're, they're not. Yeah. So you would sweeten it up with that. Honey crisp, but it didn't. My yes. Okay. Really what good. else do we have? Okay. In the dish. This I, is the dish. This no. Is, 
This is the, <laughs> yes, that's the, the saucer. That this is, is the, the dish. dish. Yes. I'm new to this. Oh, the dish amazing. is a deconstructed kind oh of my. apple pie you creation. It does smell yummy. So what I did was I wanted to do a crust. Okay. And so on the bottom, instead of using dates, which I use all the time, right. I wanted to get a little figgy with it. <laughs> get figgy with, with it. Na, 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 na. Is this a really close up on me to do that? So I did right, figs. So we want to go all the way through. We got figs <laughs> and carob powder. Ooh, so a little chocolatey. Oh, interesting. And a little bit okay. of nut, some this walnut. Is awesome. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Wow. That's your crust, okay? Then Yummy. your filling mm -hmm. is just shredded apple a little bit of dried apple, lemon juice so it doesn't get all brown and yeah. nasty looking, oh, okay. and a tiny little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, oh, so that's a good tip there with the lemon juice. Yes, oh, it keeps you keeps the apple from browning. Any citrus oh. will, will work to do that. This is so will vitamin C. So this is delicious. I've got to get a shout out to, we're at the Northside Cafe in Winterset so this weekend and we had, had a chicken dinner. They served an apple crumble that this is excellent. That was, uh, that and this, okay. But, the best apple I'm like, wait I've a second. <laughs> this is amazing. It's delicious. All right. Really what would good. you call this? Um, a deconstructed mm -hmm. apple pie, I think. I just, you know, it's just kind of a, it's, it's a conglomeration of things. The topping is mm. um, uh, cashew cream sauce. It's just cashews, wow. it maple syrup, and some of my homemade vanilla. Mm, this is That's so it. good. This yeah. is one of the best things you've ever had. It's ridiculously good. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. Good. Okay, so All while right. we continue to eat this, what else do we have? So the last thing was kind of like the wild card. So mm. last night I was putting together your dessert, and I got this crazy idea because I had some apple pieces left over yep. from mm. when I chopped up your apple. So I took the apples, I dredged them in the maple syrup that I already had out from the cashew sauce. Right. Then I, I kind of scur scurried them through some. Uh, coconut, put it in the dehydrator, and I'm thrilled with how it came out. So your own little like uh, it's apple a, crisps. It's type. yeah, it's just a kind chips. of a, almost a little cookie kind of a thing. I didn't let it get too hard, but I thought it was really lovely. Mm. Those are great. Uh huh. Fantastic. Coconut now, and apple. Do you have an alternative if people aren't big coconut fans? I would probably use some uh, chopped nuts or mm -hmm. some, if, if you don't want to do nuts, you could do some chopped seeds. But coconut really works though. Yeah, I think so too. You oh, know, I am not an adventurous eater, folks. I'm really not. No and, kidding. Um, and so, you, you know, okay. <laughs> because usually I'm sitting right there when, when Miss Clark finishes her, she goes, would you want some of this? I'm like, yeah, I'm Yeah, not but so much. But today, I'm loving this apple stuff. You, you can't get enough of wonderful apples. A lot of locally grown ones. We have some great uh, yeah, places. Man. You can go pick your own apples yes. around town. Of course, farmer's market's still going on and find some great ones there. Sherry Clark always giving us great ideas how to make better choices in our life. Why not use a delicious fruit like an apple, but doing it in a different way? All of these items, spot on. Glad Sherry, thank you, you like so it. much. All right. Details on how we can find you and other great things going on in your life. Where can we get that? If you want these recipes and more, you can visit www.fork-road.com or you can drop me an email at info at fork-road.com. And last mm. week, I had a lot of people ask me for the recipes, and we I've got a little dialogue going from somebody Wonderful. out of state, and it's all it's all great. So please do contact me. I, great I like things that. going on. She's fabulous. If you want right. recipes, which I ask her for all the time, uh, go check out uh, season one of Fork in the Road. A lot of great uh, information there. Other great episodes coming up very soon, so make sure you stay tuned and join us every single week when we can give you more great tips for Fork in the Road. Thank you so much, Sherry Clark. You We're going to keep eating this delicious stuff. We'll be right back with more on Great Day.